Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? I'd like to start this video with a little bit of a disclaimer. The story is still kind of unfolding, so some of the information that you get from this video may or may not be out of date, as if you're watching this in the future. Um, it also is subject to, you know, change based on what happens to be revealed over time. This is just sort of to uh, make a video on this subject as it unfolds. Some of you may be thinking that's kind of a scummy thing to do, but at the same time, I'm a drama channel, I've never lied about that. So, with that being said, let's get right into this. So a lot of you are probably really familiar with the whole pro-Jared situation that's been happening over the past uh, 24 hours, and how he's lost about a tenth of his fan base so far on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> hoping, you get a, hoping you get back to that uh, golden play button fairly soon, Jared. I know it took you over a decade to get that the first time, but... You know, here's hoping that uh, you can get that back in the next 10 years. But there have been plenty of videos talking about Jared and his involvement in this whole uh, debacle, and I don't really want to talk about that too much. I feel like there's plenty of other videos for that, so if that's what you want to look at, there's just, you know, take your pick. There's a whole host of content for that. I'm actually going to focus more on uh, Commander Holly over here, because it seems like, uh, seems like she's had a pretty important role in how all of this went down, and, uh, well, I just don't see very many videos dedicated to her. Let it never be said that Coyote Lovely was anything but an egalitarian who believed in women's rights. A woman has the exact same right to be talked shit about as any man does for infidelity. So for those of you who don't know Commander Holly, she is a Twitch streamer and formerly she was married to Ross O'Donovan of the Game Grumps. If you happen to watch the uh, Steam Train show on uh, the Game Grumps channel, you might recall how she, uh, she brought them in some... Uh, some of her pie when they were fighting Sans. Oh, he's bleeding, Holly! <laughs> oh. Congratulations. Here's a butterscotch cinnamon pie that I made by, by scratch, from scratch. And here's some napkins. Thank you, Holly. Shaped like hearts. Hey, Holly, you're the best, Holly. <laughs> Are you sure about that? So uh, if you were wondering if that pie was a uh, moist and or if it was a little bit a little bit flaky i'm sure jared's happy to give you an answer <laughs> but see what i really wanted to talk about as far as uh with holly is just the level of betrayal of what she actually did was because we all know what pro jared did was bad there's no arguing that but apparently as as far as i've been led to believe and please correct me if i'm wrong she was actually friends with heidi not only that but Ross was actually one of the reasons that she even knew Pro Jared, based on this tweet right here. I mean, I can't tell the time frame, so grain of salt on that one. I can't exactly find this conversation now that uh, now that Holly's decided to private her account. But, ugh, I mean, this is like some multiple levels of fucking betrayal right here. If if uh, what I'm reading is correct, I mean, if if I can get some follow up information on this, I would love, absolutely adore, yeah, to clarify that one. But from what it looks like here, just from what I'm able to see, and my perception of these things, it's really looking like there were some deep levels of betrayal on your part, Holly. You don't seem like you're that good of a friend. I mean, I know sharing is caring, but I think, I think you may have taken it to a little bit of a fucking extreme there, honey. Now, I know this is a short video, and there's not a whole lot of substance here, but I just think it's important to remember that even as bad as what pro Jared did was, he couldn't really have done it as far as just the cheating part of it, unless Holly had said yes, which it's looking like she did. So I think it's important to remember, Holly, honey, you're not blameless, even if you're getting a lot less of the flack for it. And I think it's important to keep that in your heads going forward. And it's important to try to get more information on this part of the situation as well, because Let's be real, this is a pretty serious betrayal of trust, and I don't think it should be ignored. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. The links to the Twitter accounts for both of the artists who do my character stills will be in the description, as will my Twitter account and my Discord server. And I hope to see you in the next video. I'll catch you guys later.